Hi there, Visionary family, and welcome back to another one with Lady Visionary. Hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smash on that red subscribe button and become part of this growing family here on YouTube. Um, you know, again, I keep saying so many of you keep coming back to my channel, and that is the, the truth. So many of you guys come back to the channel time and time again, because I see it in the statistics, but are not yet subscribed. Um, I want to know what's going on with that. Why are you not yet subscribed? Please do me that favor. If you're enjoying the content, then, you know, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And also, if you're, um, yeah, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you share on Instagram, um, your, your Facebook, as well as Twitter. Please support me because it just allows other people to be able to um, know who Lady Visionary is and basically what I'm doing here in Rwanda and the great impact and the lives that I'm changing, um, not only in Rwanda, but around the world. So um, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to each and every one of you guys. Let me know where you're listening in from. Um, I may, you may find that I'm sounding a little bit different. That's because this morning I woke up and I felt so ill. I felt really ill. Um, wasn't really able to move out of bed. I don't know whether it was burnout or it just seems like maybe I have um, a bad cold. But, you know, I had to, took some time to just rest. And then I was like, let me come on and, you know, just go live. And hopefully it was going to help my energy and everything like that. So just in case I'm sounding a bit off, that's because I have, it seems like I have a slight cold um, that I'm recovering from. So you, those of you guys who are here, thank you so much for joining. Let me know um, where you are listening in from. And guys, yes, 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 yes. I took my hair down. I took my hair out, should I say. I took my hair out and it's all a natural. I know a lot of you guys like it when I have my natural hair. And I do love my natural hair. I'm quite versatile. Um, I like to wear different braided styles as well as my own natural hair. And my hair is actually a lot bigger than this, but I've actually patted it down um, so I can control it a bit more. Otherwise, it's like a bit more out. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, each and every one of you guys for taking the time out to be with me. I'm with you guys for about an hour and a half. So this is going to be also an opportunity for you guys to come in and um, talk to me live. So I will send out the link for anybody who just wants to come in and add anything useful to the conversation. Um, and also, if you have any specific questions that you want to ask me, again, you can click on the link and come and talk to me. You don't have to um, show your face. It's totally up to you. You don't have to show your face. Um, you can actually turn off the video setting and so it's only your voice that's projecting through because that's what's most important right as you enter guys make sure you um smash on the like button if you're new to the channel make sure you you know do me that favor and smash on the red subscribe button as we are nearing 6k subscribers i think we are what we're about 55 subscribers away from 6k so you guys know how it is around here whenever i hit a milestone there has to be some sort of party okay so when i reach the 6k mark i will be having a um live um youtube celebration <laughs> um and that's important i think it's important to recognize the milestones and also recognize the, the, the people who have been with me on the journey um, for a long time, as well as the new um, subscribers as well. So um, make sure if you want to know about that 6K subscriber celebration party here on YouTube, you just have to make sure that your um, post notification bell, that bell um, is, is um, you've clicked on that bell so that you are alerted every time I post, right? And you never miss a post because you're always alerted. I think that's the best way. I know some of you guys say, oh, you know, Lady Visionary, I, you know, I missed this live or, you know, um, I didn't get the notification in time, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, all you have to do is just make sure that you have actually um, selected or tapped on that bell so that you are notified whenever I post. Um, you guys have seen the topic. Yes, my subscribers. 
are coming to Rwanda. And I'm going to talk to you guys a bit more about that in detail. Um, it's, it's really uh, encouraging um, because uh, it's really it's really great, actually, because I am interacting with you guys, um, whether it be through my consultations or um, via the comments, whether it be by live, whether it be by Instagram, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm now having the opportunity to meet you guys face to face here in Rwanda, here in Mosanze. And it almost feels unreal, but it's a, a phenomenal thing. I'm very, very excited. And I'm also looking forward to seeing more of you um, who choose to visit Rwanda, relocate here, do business here. I'm really looking forward to it. It's some very, very exciting things happening. And um, yeah, but before we get into that, before we get into that, um, I want to let you guys know, as always, that I do offer business and relocation consultations. For those of you guys who are seriously interested in relocating and doing business here in Rwanda. So we would set up a consultation via Zoom. It is at an affordable price, very reasonable um, price. So um, they're lasting like an hour, an hour and a half plus. So you can select um, what is more suitable for you, how in depth you want to go um, into the questions and um, how much detail you want. Obviously that will be, those consultations would, um, if you want to go more in detail, then those will be longer consultations. So um, all you have to do is send me an email. All the details are down below in the description bar. But the email is projecthealtha at gmail.com, projecthealtha at gmail.com. So do consider um, booking a consultation. You know, you have someone like me here on the ground in Rwanda that can get you the specific information that you need to be able to help you with your business and relocation journey. And that's something I'm doing. I am offering business support for those people who are really serious and want to move forward with regards to their relocation and business in Rwanda and want to sort of, you know, move away from the, the West and find um, greater prosperity here on the motherland. So I'm here and I'm willing to support you 100%. And, you know, there are some of you guys who are out there who have done the consultation with me and have found it very, very useful. There's those of you guys out there who have um, offered or I've supported with um, buying land and other um, aspects around business. And you have given me very, very positive feedback about how um, positive it was for you and how it helped you with regards to your, your, your journey with regards to doing business here in Rwanda. And you let me know that it's very, very informative, um, which is very, very useful for me because it tells me that, you know, yes, I'm doing a good job. That there's always room for improvements, obviously, but it's really encouraging because um, when you guys who do the consultations um, really benefit from that, and I can see that you, you, you are implementing it here on the ground, I really feel like, wow, Kerri Ann, you are doing a great job. Keep going. So I just want to say thank you for those of you guys who have booked consultations um, and are still um, also waiting for your appointment. Some newbies who have come on board and are um, waiting for their consultations appointment. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters Again, I really support you. I want to give a big shout out to my new supporter on Patreon. Her name is Annette. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like the support means everything, whether it's booking a consultation, whether it's sending me an email of encouragement, you know, whether it's um, a, a comment in the comment section um, of encouragement and support, whether it's sharing my um, content with your friends and family um, on YouTube on sorry not on YouTube um, oh well yes on YouTube as well because some of you guys are YouTubers but also on Instagram on Facebook on Twitter all of that is uh, making a contribution and helping me move to closer towards um, my vision so I really just want to say thank you thank you thank you for you know the genuine love that's been just poured out by by my supporters out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you um, enough. I cannot thank you enough. So do continue to support. 
Um, with regards to the consultations and sort of business support, um, that is very important, I think, because during the consultations, you're able to gain really in-depth information um, that's going to help you with your relocation, that's going to help you with your business. And also there's a lot um, of changes that are happening um, in Rwanda that is re in relation to or that is, um, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? that is connected to the diaspora, right? So it's very important for you to be aware of the new laws and how that's going to potentially impact on your journey and what you need, what processes you need to go through, what policies you need to be aware of um, so that you don't make some slip ups or mistakes because you don't, um, you're not fully aware of the information. And also when you're not well informed, that's when, um, you know, things can go wrong. Um, there are people who are obviously predators of the diaspora. So when you have all the information gathered, you know, you're able to make the right decisions with regards to your specific journey. Um, and yes, that's exactly why I am also offering business support for those of you guys who are interested. So just make sure you reach out to me just by my email. It's always going to be down below in the description bar. That's projecthealtha at gmail.com, projecthealtha at gmail.com. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, was it two days ago, I announced that I um, that I received the land title for the Diaspora Building Project. Um, I came on, I did a live because I was really excited, very, very excited. Um, I told you guys that due to the pandemic, there were, were delays in getting the documents. Um, and it was a long time coming. I was waiting for a long time. I kept going back to the land office and them saying, actually, it's um, it's not done yet. And then, you know, um, then um, going back again and, you know, the papers were not in place. And, you know, so having to be so patient with, you know, getting the doc documents because the land was actually initially registered as agricultural land and I needed to get that land changed to residential land so that um, I could proceed with the um, diaspora building project and um, so finally 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 guys I'm so excited yes um, I have the land papers for the diaspora building project so I can proceed um, with the permissions that I need to get started with building homes for the diaspora here in um, the heart of Musanze. And um, those of you guys who don't know about the Diaspora Building Project, it's a project that I'm doing, and this will it will be on um, a plot of land which is 2,025 square meters. There will be three units of three bedroom properties, right? And um, one will be for me and my family, but the other two will be for you guys who are coming, who want to visit or, you know, you, you just, you're relocating to Rwanda. You don't want to have to think so much about where you're going to stay. You will have uh, a place to stay for up to one month. After that, it's a monthly fee. Um, but yeah, whilst you're staying there for a month for free, um, um, the only catch I should say is that um, you will be paying for utilities, gas, electric, water, which is very, very inexpensive here in um, Rwanda. I think um, on a monthly, I pay on average for gas, electricity and water around $50. Yes, approximately $50 per month for gas, electricity and water. Um, so it's very, very inexpensive. But I will give you guys the details as we near to finishing that project. Um, so I am appealing for support for those of you guys who are interested to support the vision because it is happening. Um, it may, the vision may be slow, but it's happening. You know, So any of you guys who feel compelled to support the vision and to support the Diaspora Building Project, I would really appreciate that. Um, all the details will be down below. You can support whenever I'm live via um, super chats or super stickers you can support me on patreon um, and you can also support me via paypal as well so that's for the diaspora building project because it is happening it is going going ahead and i will need support from you guys 
um, as much as I, I can um, to get things moving. So do consider that. Do consider that. I'm seeing more of you guys come in. Thank you so much for joining the conversation. This live is all about my subscribers who are actually coming to Rwanda, coming specifically also to um, Musanze to explore the opportunities that are here and are choosing to do business here and are choosing to actually live here. So um, it's really, really great. It's really, really great. Make sure you smash the um, like button as you come in. Um, again, this will be an opportunity for anybody who wants to come in and speak to me. Um, uh, uh, you know, if you want to add something to the to the conversation, then please do. Um, those of you guys, yes, talk in, um, I was talking about people who are coming to Rwanda to um, to visit and coming to Musanzi to explore um, this the, the northern province where I am. You know, a lot of you guys know, especially those of you guys who have um, met me in person you know how busy I am. Like I'm extremely busy working on my projects. Um, I have a lot that's going on here. Um, and for those of you guys who follow me on Patreon, you'll know that my husband is not here um, currently. And if you follow me on Patreon, you'll know exactly why my husband is not currently here. And I want to just give a big shout out to him, my lovely, amazing husband. You know, I would marry him time and time again. He's just a phenomenal man and I'm so blessed to have him. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, if you want to know more about what's going on with me behind the scenes, then all you have to do is support via um, Patreon and you will know exactly why, what's going on and why my husband is not here at the moment with me. Um, so yes, um, I was saying for those of you guys um, who are thinking of coming to Rwanda and, you know, I am very, very busy, extremely busy, and I'm not always able to meet everyone. Um, I try my best, but I'm not able, always able to meet everyone. If you see my life on a day to day, because I don't do a lot of vlogging because I'm literally so busy. I, I have a moto, uh, is it, uh, what is it, a moped, a little moped, which takes me from A to B. I'm whizzing across the northern province um, just to kind of get things done within the day. I have meetings with regards to my projects. Um, so sometimes, you know, people come and they're in Kigali, like Kigali is like two hours and a half from where I am. And, you know, it's not always easy. Some of you guys just come for a short time. And it's, yeah, it's not always easy to say drop everything I'm doing and then just come to Kigali. Um, some of you guys are not willing to come this side, which is fine. Um, and then a lot of you guys are choosing now to come and actually explore. But I'll say that, you know, it's very important if you do want to meet me because I am, uh, you know, I'm not a virtual person and you can actually meet me in person. Um, please try to reach out to me in advance so that we can set up um, a meet um, a meeting, you know, we can we can actually meet in person. Um, yesterday, I was actually meeting with some subscribers, three subscribers who um, um, came to visit Rwanda from the States. I was, they actually came up to Mosanze. And I would just want to say um, a big shout out to you. Um, I did a consultation with Bola and Mohammed, and um, they messaged me very last minute, very last minute, but I tried to meet, meet them and I did go out to see them. Um, they messaged me to let me know that, Lady Visionary, we're here in Mosanze. And I was like, what, you know, um, can you come and see us? We're staying here. And, um, you know, very busy, but I, I took the time to, to go out there and, and meet with them and sit with them for a couple of hours and, you know, um, speaking to them about that their business ideas and what they're actually wanting to do here in Rwanda you know so I, I don't want to share their stories because I have asked them to come on the channel and speak about their projects that they want to do here in Rwanda and uh, Bola is actually um, currently in the process of um, doing a business here specifically in Mosanze. I don't want to give it away but hopefully um, as she promised she will come on and um, she will come on and speak about the project or, or speak about the business that she's going to set up here in Musanze. Um, I think it's a phenomenal um, idea, but also it's going to be impactful um, in terms of providing jobs for the community. And I, I have a specific 
uh, you know, I specifically promote um, those of you guys who are coming to Rwanda uh, and setting up businesses to um, target your, your business towards um, supporting or employing um, young people in Rwanda who are, have the tenacity and they have the willingness to be able to learn. They need just need that extra bit of guidance, but they do have the energy and they do want to work and they do want to help your vision along. So, you know, do target um, the young people, do employ the young people who are here and they're very vibrant and they can also help you along the way as well. Um, Rwanda is doing a lot for the young people, but there's still... Um, a significant amount of work on the ground that needs to be done. Um, half of, you know, Rwanda's population are approximately half are young people, and half of that, um, um, a lot of them are unemployed. So, um, the diaspora coming here with our business ideas and, you know, setting up companies, um, we're contributing to, um, you know, alleviating poverty. We're contributing to, um, you know, get helping families. Um, to be able to um, go to school, to be able to fund their, their children's education and so on. And we're, we, we are making an impact. We may not know the impact that we're making, but those people will specifically come to you and say, oh my goodness, like you're making such a huge impact on my life. Thank you so much. They will actually be so grateful because, you know, like for example, me coming here to Rwanda, employing people that, you know, that weren't in the job, um, you know, prior to me coming. So, you know, they, they've um, really expressed expressed that appreciation and you will see just how much of an impact you're making uh, as time goes on. So guys, um, I'm just going to greet you guys who are in the building. Please do give me a thumbs up. Um, I will be sending out the link very, very shortly to those of you guys who are interested to come and add to the conversation. For those of you guys who just want to say hello, just want to greet me, <laughs> those of you guys who are planning on coming to visit Rwanda, relocate here, or do business, um, I'd also like to hear from you. I know some of you guys will be um, moving back and forth for, for a period of time um, before finally, oh, sorry, guys, before finally relocating here. So, you know, there's um, so many of you guys who have different stories, different plans, different journeys, and I'd love to hear um, from you. Um, also, um, before I move on from that, actually, um, I forgot to mention that, again, if you are coming and you want to um, explore the northern province where I am, then you can um, book the meetup tour with me here in, um, in the northern province. So um, with regards to the meetup tour, it's for three nights and um, it's including a place to stay um, well, you stay with me at my family home and you also, um, that's including your stay as well as breakfast. Um, you get to explore real estate in Mustanzi. You get to explore a bit, um, a bit of Mustanzi. I also take you to the lakes. That's Lake Borera as well as Lake Rohondo. We do a tour on Lake Borera. You get to see the beauty of the lakes. Um, um, when we're cruising, um, you also have the opportunity to come and visit my project site to see what I'm up to here in Rwanda. Um, um, I also take you to Lake Kivu. Um, so we chill by Lake Kivu. Um, you know, you can go and see the, the, the border of uh, DRC. Um, so, so yeah, you, you, there's a lot that you can do, but it's also flexible because there may be specific things that you want to do here in the Northern province. So I'm also um, able to um, tailor the meetup tour according to your needs as well. So it's not restricted. So if you're interested in doing the meetup tour, all you have to do is um, send me an email and that is at projecthealtha at gmail.com, projecthealtha at gmail.com. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about housing in Mosanze. Um, I'm planning to, um, I'm actually planning to uh, do some more videos on real estate, um, yeah, properties as well as um, land for sale here in the northern province, specifically in um, in Mosanze. Um, so do stay tuned. I do have a recent video that I uploaded um, showing a two-bedroom property 
um, and that it was for $300 a month. So that's two bedroom property with a um, kitchen, open plan kitchen and front room um, with uh, one of the bedrooms have ensuite facilities. And again, that is only $300 per month. So do go ahead and check that out so you can see whether it may be something you're interested in if you're thinking about relocating to Rwanda. Um, there was one, there were three properties. One has already been taken. Um, I believe two is still available. I still have to double check. Um, so, and I will be um, producing more content with regards to real estate because you guys have been asking for it. Do um, be patient with me. It is coming. So thank you guys so much for your support and for your ongoing patience. Um, I really appreciate that. And if guys I'm speaking a bit differently, that's because, as I said, this morning I woke up and I was feeling so ill. Um, my throat felt a little bit sore. My body was aching. I was shivering a bit. But, um, you know, it's just it's just a cold, basically. It's just a bad cold. So I'm taking some rest and um, hopefully um, by tomorrow I'll feel a lot better. I think, you know, because I've, I, as I've mentioned, like I do a lot in a week. Um, I'm thinking to even take like next week off because I really do a lot of running around. I start my days early. I'm moving from place to place. And I think I just, my body just got really tired and possibly exhausted. So I just, I need to take some rest. So if I am sounding different, um, that's because I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> okay. I have a bit of a cold. So, um, and for those of you guys who are, you know, one of the issues here in Mosanze, you know, with regards to properties for rent or sale, we don't have them. We we lack the we lack good quality options here in Mosanze. So that's really um, a business project idea for those of you guys who may be coming, and maybe you have some um, experience, knowledge in real estate. That is an area of business that you can explore here in in Mosanze because the quality of housing um, is lacking. And that's one of the reasons why I, um, I decided to do the um, diaspora building project because I wanted to create something um, Afrocentric, you know, but modern that we're, we're used to, like all the facilities that will be comfortable with um, without thinking or comparing it to the West. We can have it here in Mosanze. Um, so I will be, um, I will be building good quality, affordable homes. Um, I'm currently renting, but the plan is also that I will have a home to move into um, next year, 2022. So guys, thank you uh, again. Thank you to each and every one of you guys who are here in the building. I am gonna greet you guys in a second. Um, do make sure you have liked, like, like the, the live stream. Um, make sure you support every time I'm live by a super chat. Um, that really helps me with my vision and my projects, guys. Please, 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 please do um, support whenever I'm live. You also, you have this um, super chat, you have um, Patreon. Again, a big shout out to all my Patreons and my new Patreon, Annette. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And again, you have PayPal. All the details are scrolling along the screen. Your support means everything. It's helping me. Um, it's supporting me to be able to do what I'm doing here. Um, and I can honestly say, without your support, I wouldn't be where I am now. So thank you so much. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go through and greet you guys. And then I'm going to send out the link. Yeah, but before I do that, actually, so I spoke about um, there were three subscribers who who came into Rwanda um, to explore. Um, they, I, I met up with them last night here in Mosanze. Um, it was just a real blessing hearing their vision, their ideas. Um, Bola specifically, she has an amazing vision. Mohammed as well. Um, you know, they've come here with a plan. Bola actually, um, you know, emailed me her business plan as we were sitting there having a chat. Um, she's very, very serious, very, very passionate. And, you know, yes, I'm on YouTube and I'm also like, I'm doing my own project. I'm very inspired. I'm, um, 
I'm working hard on my project, you know, you know, moving forward. But also like when I meet you guys, um, when I meet you guys in person, um, it's, it's just phenomenal because you guys have amazing ideas, amazing projects that, you know, you want to come to life. And some of you guys are actually making it happen. You're actually taking the steps. You're doing the research. You're putting together the business plan. And you're actually saying to me, consistently saying to me that, you know, Lady Visionary, we're listening to you. You know, you say come prepared and we have come prepared. And I'm like, wow, it's really um you know, it's it's really encouraging. It's amazing. Um, I really don't have words. I really don't have words, but it just helps me to know that I'm doing a good job here, and um, people are coming. People are listening, and they're coming to Rwanda prepared because of the information that I'm giving on here with it, which is absolutely free. I'm not charging anything for the information I give here um, via the channel. So uh, it was a really, really great meetup. Um, Bola, if you're listening, Mohammed, if you're listening, thank you so much. I think I just got a message saying that you, you guys have um, now got, um, gone back to Kigali. You guys only came for a one week to explore and you, know, you were able to achieve so much in a week. You guys, seriously, you know, everybody's journey is different. Some people can come and relocate right now. Some of you guys have children who you're supporting back home or back there in the West. Um, and you cannot just take away the scaffolding just yet. So you're offering that support until it's the, it's the right time. And during that time, you'd be coming back and forth, but still planning and working on um, your business and growing your business and launching your business. So some really great ideas are coming through. And um, these are things that Rwanda really needs. You know, people are coming with their ideas, coming with their skills, um, meeting with the Rwanda Development Board, getting support from the Rwanda Development, the Rwanda Development Board. Um, and, and then also coming and um, meeting with um, local leaders and gathering information to be able to support you to um to launch a successful business right here in Rwanda. So um, it, it gets me really excited. It's something that I envisioned and, you know, I'm just, I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really proud of you guys who are choosing to step outside the com your comfort zones and also choosing to do it big here in Rwanda. So I can't wait to share your stories. I've already asked um, some of you guys to, well, I've asked all of you guys to share your stories when the time is right. Um, so, because I don't want to share your stories for you. I want you to share your stories. Um, again, uh, um, not long ago, I had a, another couple, a beautiful couple from the US um, coming come to Rwanda and they stayed at my home. They were supposed to only stay three days, but then they ended up extending their stay. And, um, you know, um, they had amazing hospitality from my staff here. We enjoyed their company and the knowledge that they were able to impart within us. And um, we just want to say thank you. That is to Philip and Sandra, you know, that have become family as well. Like, you know, my subscribers becoming family, like real family and meeting you guys in person. It's just been a real blessing. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for choosing to come to um Mosanze and also booking the meetup tour. We had a phenomenal um, lunch at Lake Kivu, specifically at Serena um, Hotel Lake Kivu. We just chilled, um, felt the breeze of the lake on our faces. We just like, you know, we are just enjoying the motherland. And um, I've always said on this channel that, you know, obviously relocating um, to Africa or relocating anywhere is not an easy process but for me personally I feel like I'm willing to ride ride the waves and I'm willing I'm willing to put in the work and there is no other place that I would rather be um, than on the motherland because I know that I am walking in my purpose and because I'm walking in my purpose, there is no greater feeling than walking in my purpose here on the motherland. So, um, yeah, so those of you guys who are thinking about coming to Rwanda, don't hesitate. And also, also amazing, amazing news. 
to all of you guys who are in the UK and wanting to come and visit Rwanda, come and visit Rwanda. Um, I have the news that Rwanda will move off the red list um, so the UK will move Rwanda off the red list. So yay, because Rwanda has been on the red list for the UK for the longest time. And I don't know why, but actually I do know why. I just believe it's been political. It's really been a pot political move, um, you know, to harm Rwanda economically um, because, you know, quite a, they were having quite a significant amount of visitors from um, the UK to Rwanda, but obviously with the with the restrictions, um, Rwanda being on the red list, a lot of people were choosing not to come because when they go back to the UK, they have to quarantine in a hotel for ten days, and it's pretty expensive. Um, we're talking about over a thousand dollars to quarantine, and I believe that's only for your hotel stay. That doesn't include like your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So now that um, Rwanda will be moving off the red list on Monday at 4 a.m., um, you guys, there is no excuse now. There's no excuse. Um, I've been told that the prices are very, very reasonable. The ticket prices are very, very reasonable. So, now is your time, you know, and those of you guys from the US as well, come and visit Rwanda. And as I said, I always say, it, guys, don't just um, don't just concentrate on Kigali. Also come and visit me here in the northern province. I know a lot of you guys are choosing to come to the northern province and and see me um, out here and also book the beat up tour. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because, you know, when you're supporting me as well, um, you know, that helps me a lot with uh, my projects that I'm doing here. And that just helps to move the vision forward. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Right. So finally, I'm going to um, go through and see who we have here in the building. Let me know where you're listening in from. You know, um, let me know where you're listening in from. Are you planning to come to Rwanda? When are you planning to Rwanda? If you have any specific questions, because guys, I'm here for you. I'm here for about an hour and a half and I'm here for you. Um, and let me know if you'd like to come in and, and add to the conversation. Let me know if you would like to come in and add to the conversation. So I'm just going to go ahead and greet you guys. I'm going to go ahead and greet you guys and let me see who is in the building. Make sure you have liked the live stream. Make sure um, you have liked the live stream. Make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already done so. <clears throat> um, we have anointed praise in the building. Greetings, lady, visionary, and everyone. Anointed prayers. Thank you so much for being here. One of my loyal supporters. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> we have Med J in the building. OMG, your hair, I guess your hair is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, out here being an African queen with my natural beauty. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> um, um, Coach Remy Fitness, are you in Kigali? Are you in Kigali? Wow. Are you in Kigali? Okay. Um, is it Nyemye, um Mimi? Is it NJ Mimi? Sorry, um, is watching from the United States. Ronald, I would like to come. Come, you're most welcome. And make sure you come and see me here in Mosanze. Medje saying um, 6K subscribers. Let's go, fam. So, yes, we're almost at the 6K mark, and I really want to um, achieve that very, very soon. So you can support by subscribing and sharing my videos uh, on, on um, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Let's go, guys. We're on the road to achieving uh, 6K which is going to help me just gain more visibility and for pe more people to be aware of what I'm doing here um, in Rwanda and the impact I'm trying to make, um, not just here in Rwanda, but around the world. Okay. Um, Medje is saying, you look so classy with your natural hairstyle. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, yes, yeah, so... 
Um, Ronald is asking, what if you want to visit first? And that's something I always encourage. I always encourage you guys to come and visit first, where, whether it be Rwanda or whether it be Ghana, Gambia, you know, because somebody may come to Rwanda and automatically connect with, with the place and somebody else may come and not connect. So you have to come and explore and find where you connect, right? So I always encourage you to, to visit first. Visit, visit first. That's something I always say on my channel. Come and visit Rwanda first before making that big jump. However, some of you may choose, some of you have chosen um, because you no longer want to be in America. You're sure you no longer want to be in America and you can sh you're sure that this is where you want to be. In that case, it's fine. But I always, always encourage my, my supporters, my subscribers or my viewers, should I say, to come and visit the motherland first before um, relocating. And W is in the building saying congratulations. I think that was relation, in relation to obtaining the land title for the diaspora building project. Thank you so much. I'm like, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm really, really ecstatic. I'm excited. Um, this just gives me the opportunity now to push forward to get things um, rolling. And again, for those of you guys who want to support the diaspora building project, um, you can do that by supporting with a super chat, super sticker, whatever I'm live, supporting by a Patreon because the Diaspora Building Project is also on Patreon and you can support also via PayPal. All the details um, are always down below in the description bar and it's always going across the screen whenever I'm live. And I believe I have pinned PayPal um, for today's live. For those of you guys who want to click on the link and support. <laughs> We have Superwoman AC in the building. Hello, dear. Hello to you. Um, much love from Uganda. Wow. Um, thank you so much for being here. I have visited um, Uganda. I went to um, Kampala and I also went to Entebbe. I've got family um, there. In, well, I've got family through my husband um, in Uganda. I visited Lake Victoria had a fantastic time there just chilling on the beach, having barbecue chicken. I love my barbecue chicken. Um, but yeah, I had a wonderful time in Uganda and I do plan to visit again in the near future. Okay. Miss Yetta B is in the build, B1, sorry, is in the building. Hey, Lady V, so blessed to spend time with you today. Oh, thank you so much. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I really appreciate you being here. Um, Ronald um, is saying you look so natural and beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. So those of you guys who are interested in the meetup tour, then just send me an email. All the details are down below in the description bar, right? All the, all the details are down below in the description bar. Um, Ronald is asking, is Paul Kagami on board with this? Um, I'm not quite sure about what, you, what the question you're asking, but I know that Rwanda is, um, you know, they're receiving the diaspora. They're very much aware that we're here and we're coming in huge numbers. Um, the support is in place for us who are coming. As I said, those of us who are serious and want to do business here as well, um, you do have that support. You can go and um, you can arrange a meeting even from the States or Europe. You can arrange a meeting with the Rwanda Development Board to talk through your, your project and gain the support that you need. They're very um, well aware of us coming and are ready and willing to give us the support. And of course, um, Paul Kagami, um, you know, they had like Rwanda Development Day days, um, and that's where I think it was in 2000 and oh god, when was it? Is it 2018 when I vis I attended um, the Rwanda Day in Amsterdam, and that's when the first time I met um, um, the president Paul Kagame, the first time I sat in a room with him and he was encouraging the diaspora to come home and he was encouraging friends of Rwanda to come home so that's something you know that's been promoted for quite a while now okay um, um 
um, Miss Yeta B1 is saying, oh, wow, I woke up the same. Um, do you take care? Even stayed home from worship today. So, yeah, I think it's just I've been running all over the place. And I've been saying, you know, I just need to take uh, maybe a week off. I need to take a week off because I've been running here and there, um, taking on different assignments, some of the assignments for you guys as well, you know. But um, definitely just need to, I, you will see at one point, I just take like just a week off, no videos, nothing, just to kind of focus on um, recuperating. But I do enjoy what I do. So it's pretty hard to um, to separate, you know, it's pretty hard. But um, I definitely have to take some time out um, just to recuperate and get myself ready. <laughs> Um, uh, Miss Yeta B is saying, take care and get rest, Lady V. I will, I will, most definitely will. Um, Jacqueline Dallas is saying, greeting sis, um, tuning in, sending love from London, UK. Jacqueline Dallas, thank you so much for being here. Um, where are we now? Sorry, guys. Um, wait, wait, wait. Guys, make sure if you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you support with a super chat. Make sure you support with, um, you know, subscribing if you're new. Um, is it T Harp is saying, hello, beautiful sister. Um, keep up the good work. Get well. Peace. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, okay, guys. So somebody say, I heard uh, Paul Kagame rules with an iron fist. Look, um, there's no doubt that um, the governance here is um, strict. Um, but if I should say so, I believe it's definitely what Africa needs. And I believe that Rwanda would not be making the progress that it's making if there were not strict policy and governance in place. So that's my personal opinion. Everybody has theirs. Um, Jacqueline Dallas is saying, get well soon. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Um, okay. All right. Um, France, oh, okay. Um, Francis is saying, <laughs> um, have a black tea with lemon to cure your cold. Yes, yeah, so... I had um, uh, black tea with ginger in there and I will have another one as well before going to bed. Right, we keep it positive here on the channel. If you have any <laughs> problems with Paul Kagami specifically, you need to take it to him, not on my channel. Thank you so much. Okay, um, Jewel Production is in the building. Hello from Tanzania, Tina, UK, Steve here in Canada. Hello, 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 and welcome. Med J saying, thank you, Lady Visionary. Um, NW saying, listening from the US, thank you for everything you're doing for us. You're most welcome. Aww. Um, looking forward to visiting family in TZ and really want to visit Rwanda. Come and visit Rwanda and make sure you come and visit me here in Musanze. Book the um, the meetup tour, the Lady Visionary meetup tour, okay? If you're coming um, and you won't re regret the meetup tour, so make sure you come. Um what is the medium wage in Rosanze? On average, the wage in Rwanda is around, I don't know, uh, when I last checked, to be honest, it was between 50 and $100 per month. Amory Life Tour in the building. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, Amory Life uh, Tours is saying, call me in the week. I will do, I will do. Most definitely will reach out to you. I've been, just been super super busy and that's probably one of the reasons why um i have this cold right now probably my body is a bit run down 
Yeah. Um, Miss yet to be, oh wow, to be in the same room with such greatness had to be um, awe inspiring. Um, glad to hear we are welcome in this amazing country. Cannot wait to visit. So, yes, um, I believe if I'm not wrong with the date, it was 2018 uh, in Amsterdam, where I sat in the same room as, as President Paul Kagame. And um, yeah, that was phenomenal. And um, I remember when he got up from the conference to leave and, you know, um, the carpet, I think, was laid out and I was trying to get close as possible just to be like really, really up and close to him. And he had his obviously his guards around him. But yeah, I sat in the same room as the president of Rwanda. And uh, that was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, Medje is saying, Paul Kagame is the man, you know. Yes, I believe he is, you know. Um, I, be I really believe he is. And I believe that we need more leaders like him um, in Africa. Oh, um, Amri Life. Yes, um, I think maybe I caught a cold, as I said. Um, I've been really running across, you know, I was in Kigali, then I was in Musanze, then I was in, um, then I was at, what is it called? I was at um, uh, uh, um, Giseni. So I've just been running here, there, everywhere. And um, I just think I need to take some rest. And I will do, I will do, I will do. Um, Judy says, hello. Hi, Judy. How are you doing? How are you? Hope you're well. We need to connect. Definitely, we need to connect. Uh, Patrick told me he re reached out to you, and I want to follow up. So, I will be in touch very, very soon. Um, Jacqueline Dallas is saying, Con "Congratulations on land acquisition. Um, um, late later should be greater. Yes, most definitely, guys. And for the diaspora building project, because I don't know, sometimes I forget to announce." For the Diaspora Building Project, I am looking for two investors. I am looking for investors. So if this is something you would want to invest in, please reach out to me, projecthealtha at gmail.com. For those of you guys who um, are not aware of the Diaspora Building Project, um, basically I've acquired um, a plot of land. The, the, the land size is 2,025 square meters. I will be building three units of three bedroom properties, um, and as well as an area where we can plant and harvest fresh fruits and vegetables, okay? Um, it's in a beautiful location where you can see the, the views of the, the volcano, the chains of volcanoes. Um, one of the property will be for me and my family, because I'm currently renting, but the other two will be for the diaspora. So anybody wanting to, um, relocate and visit Rwanda. They will have a place to stay for up to a month. Um, after that, it is um, chargeable. So it will be at a monthly fee. So again, I am appealing for support. So if you would like to just donate towards the Diaspora Building Project, or if you would just, uh, if you're interested in becoming an investor, because we're hoping that by August, September of next year, we would have completed this project. And the thing about being in Africa, once you have the capital, things happen here overnight because we do have uh, people, we do have people on the ground who are willing to work and we have enough people here that are willing to work. So once you have the capital in place, things happen overnight here in Africa. Do you guys have any questions for me? Do you have any questions for me? Um, let me also send out the link. I, I will send out the link. I just want to get through some of your comments um, for the, anybody who's interested to come in and add to the conversation. Um, I will be sending out the link. I just want to try and get through as many of the, um, the comments as possible. I am here for another 35 minutes. So, you know, it's, it's definitely up to you. I'm here for you. Um, Miss Yetabi Wan is saying, sorry, Lady Visionary and family. Um, does despise negativity, no it exists, yet we do not want to encourage it. Do not mean um, we do not respect 
others thoughts and questions just want to spread light most definitely that's fine um, as I said I did see someone making some comments in the comment section you will get people who are negative but you know what happens here on YouTube you find that viral some of the things that go viral here on YouTube are the things that are very negative and for us as YouTubers sometimes we focus so much on the negativity but I really um, I'm really choosing to ignore the negative people because you will have negative people that come along this journey that try to distract and for me I'm I don't really have time for that distraction and I'm really focused on you guys who are positive um, you critique in a, um, in, in, in a very um, productive way um, and you're really um, su supportive um, with regards to me and my channel so that's what I really want to focus my energy on the people who are serious and the people who um, you know see my vision and what I'm trying to do and are willing to support it every step of the way so I just want to say thank you yet to be one um, Jill Production is saying, I like the way Rwanda is so clean and the no cars on the road two days a month in the city. So yeah, you have the you have the area of um, the car free zone where in Kigali where people can um, exercise. Yes, um, it, obviously they also have the culture of Umuganda. Umuganda is like um, at the end of every month. I believe it's a, the Saturday of every month or the weekend of every month. They do Umuganda, so that's where the community or households, they come out into the streets, helping up, helping to clean up and keep the streets clean. Obviously, due to um, COVID, that has been um, restricted, but there are people who are cleaning the streets and maintaining the standards of um, cleansiness here in Rwanda. And I really support that 100%. Um, DC is in the building. Hail up, Lady Visionary and African Family. Um, hope your cold gets better. Blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the well wishes. You guys are seriously amazing. Thank you so much. Um, for me, I was resting all day. And then, um, you know, I was like, oh, I just want to come on and, you know, speak to you guys. And hopefully that's going to also help me to feel better as well. Because <laughs> I've been literally laying flat the whole day. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and be with you guys. So. Um, Francis, have you thought of organizing Diaspora Christmas Party in Masanze to raise some funds for your building project? Interesting one, interesting one. So I, for me, I don't celebrate Christmas, but what I am doing is I am doing the, um, the meet and greet. So where you guys coming to Rwanda um, have an opportunity to, to meet me in person. Um, yeah, to meet me in person. So that's probably an idea, something that I could do is organize some events where I can also fundraise during those events as well. So that's definitely something I will think about, Francis. So thank you so much for that idea. Really, really appreciate it. Because also, um, you know, I encourage you guys to come to the Northern province because when you guys come, you're able to see exactly what I'm doing here on the ground, um, as opposed to always listening to me on YouTube you can actually come and see what I'm doing first hand and know that I'm actually working. I am working so hard. Um, Jewel um, Production saying, looking forward to seeing you uh, and be also um, yet to be one. Uh, thanks for sharing uh, your close encounter, close encounter in Amsterdam. Yes. Yes, it was, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. You know, the first African president I've sat in a room with. What? Yeah, amazing. Uh, Medjay saying, I haven't been, I said, I haven't had a cold for at least the past 13 years, so I'm sick. That <laughs> so if I'm sick, it's de that's definitely COVID. Um, um, okay, uh, Med J saying, um, how far are those gorillas from Musanze? Right, they, they, the gorillas are actually in Musanze. They're in Musanze. So I live amongst those gorillas. I live amongst those gorillas. So they're not very far, not very far at all. You have to trek into the, the mountains, but yeah, they're not very far. DC... My heroes are the Honorable John Magufuli and President Kagame. Uh, 
Natasha Mohammed is in the building. Hey, hey, love. Hello to you as well. Um, Wanda Lovejoy saying, hi, Lady Visionary. Thanks for sharing your journey. My husband and I are adding Masanzi to our first visit to the motherland because of you. You see that smile? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I look forward to um, welcoming you here in Musanze. So welcome, Wanda, love, joy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you and your hubby. Um, Fritz Roy is saying, Lady Visionary, your Afro embodies the African identity. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. James Cooper, do Rwanda, does Rwanda have a lot of flat land? So Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills. It's It's got hilly terrains. Hopefully that answers your question. Medje, are there labs in or, uh, Musanzi or do you have to go to Kigali for your blood work? There are labs here in Musanzi. So no, I do would not have to go to Kigali for lab works. Cab is saying, <laughs> okay, what's your background? How many kids do you have? And how is the fishing business in Musanze? Any fish in Lake Borera? I'm enjoying your channel. So um, I, for those of you guys who don't know, <laughs> I was born in Jamaica, left when I was about 10 years old to the UK, um, spent a lot of years in the UK, um, went to school there, did my primary, secondary education, uh, obtained a, de a degree in physiotherapy as well as a degree in um, global health and international development. Um, tried relocating to Rwanda back in 2019, I believe. I left because um, a family member of me, mine passed away. And then basically that was when I left, that was like the height of the pandemic. And then I got stuck in the UK. And then now I'm back. I've been back for about 10 months now. So another two months and then it will be a year, which I'm um, now here back in, in Rwanda. Um, I'm married um, to an amazing, amazing man. I have two kids, two boys. One is three, one is two. How's the fishing business in Mosanze? Um, here in the northern province, we're very close to the lake. So Lake Borera and Lake Rohondo, as well as Lake Kivu. At the moment, we're, we're importing a lot of our fish from China. We're importing a lot of fish from China, which I believe is unnecessary. But there are um, programs in Rwanda, which is moving towards um, production of more fish here in Rwanda and less imports of fish from, from China. So we do have the lakes here and there are other, there are people who are exploiting the lakes and developing the fishery business. Um, mainly I think at Lake, uh, at Lake Kivu. But again, uh, those of you guys know, will also know that um, I did buy a business here in, in um, at Lake Borera and I'm, I'm also into fish farming as well. Um, so yeah, there's huge opportunities for, for fish farming here if you're very, very serious about that. There's also companies um, um, towards Kigali, Lake Mohazi, who um, are doing fish farming, tilapia. There's uh, also, in this region, also there's uh, crayfish as well. So it's, it's uh, and then if you're interested in that type of business, all you have to do is reach out to the um, Rwanda Agricultural Board, and they can provide you with as much support as you would like with regards to your fishery business. Um, Kev is saying, uh, I'm enjoying your channel. Thank you so much. I hope you are subscribed. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so um, you are alerted um, whenever I post. <laughs> um, Medje saying what don't you know that I'm scared of King Kong girl yeah you know um, I've been saying also that I want to go and see the gorillas up and close um, so at some point 
I will um, go and see the gorillas up and close. And hopefully I'll have an opportunity to also vlog that and share that on the channel. It's something that I definitely, definitely want to do. And I'm here in Mos um, Rwanda, I'm here in Mosanzi where the gorillas are. So why not? So um, yeah, guys, make sure if you haven't already done so, make sure you smash the like button. Right. Make sure you support with a super chat if you haven't already done so. Also on um, Patreon, you can support my work on Patreon and also on PayPal. The details are going along the screen. Um, Tina, I have family on my dad's side in Rwanda. I've not seen for many years as my husband and I have been living in Canada and going through immigration and bringing up our two children I see, I understand. So, you know, when the time is right, then come and come and visit Rwanda. Come and see your family here in Rwanda. Um, um, do you have an idea of the investment amount needed for your land project business costs? Um, dual production, yes, I do have um, the details regards to that. If it's something that you're interested in, then you can reach out to me directly via email. Um, all the details are down below in the description. That is projecthealtha at gmail.com if you're interested in becoming an investor in the Diaspora Building Project here in Musanze, then um, reach out to me directly. Um, um, Nana Dreams is in the building. Hey, 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 welcome. What they need to import, it's... Okay. Yes. So what they... Really sorry, guys. Really, really sorry. Um, <laughs> this looks a bit weird because um, the electricity has actually um, gone off and I don't have um, a generator in this rented property. So I do apologize. I do apologize. Um, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully the the lights will come back on very shortly, but this is something that we experience here in Africa. Um, Medjay is saying smart and beautiful.
All right, guys, who can I see? I'm very, very sorry about that. Let me um, send out the link for any of you guys who want to come in and have a chat. I'm so sorry. That was just um, power outage. Really, really sorry. I know quite a few of you have left, but um, let's see if I can send out the link. You know, it's always a pain when the... I was trying to get my backup um, internet, but it wasn't working for me. So I do apologize, guys, I do apologize. Okay, where are we now? Yeah, so I've sent out the link for, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, um, Jewel Production. We are still here. Um, yes, I've sent out a link for anybody who may be interested, you know, to, to just come in and add to the conversation, come in and answer, ask any questions. Um, I'll be happy to have you on the live. Um, I'll be happy to answer your, your question. So do you go ahead and, uh, do you go ahead and click on the link? I'm here guys. I'm here for you. So do go ahead and click on the link if you're interested. Um, So can you see me clearly? Let me know if you can see me clearly. Um, just let me know if you can see me clearly. Uh, type one if you can see me clearly. Type one if you can see me clearly. No one's typing one, so I'm... <laughs> yeah, 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 sometimes the light goes out, you know, like once or maybe yeah, once or twice a day. Yeah, okay. So you can see and hear me clearly. That's good. That's really good. Again, I've sent out the link for anybody who's interested to come in and have a chat with me. Otherwise, I'll be rounding up. I'll be rounding up. So here's your opportunity. Oh, more of you guys are joining. Thank you so much for joining. I had a slight interruption due to the power outage. Um, so I do apologize for that again. Um, um, Medjay saying, Lady V, I know that, that, you know, love Rwanda, I do too, but those random power outage are totally unacceptable. Yeah, they're still working on their power supply. So in the meantime, you know, this is the issue. Um, uh, PT's in the building, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Miss you lots as well. Hey sis, we miss you. Um, hope all is well. Yes, I'm well. I'm just, um, yeah, I think um, I'm a little bit burnt out, but I'll, I'm going to take some rest. I will take some rest. I was laying flat all day. Um, I was just laying flat all day, but um, I'm now, I'm now sitting up. Um, oh, we have, we have a guest, a special guest. Um, we have Sade in the building. <laughs> oh. Hi, Lady Visionary. You look so beautiful. Don't worry about the lighting because your lighting is perfect, actually. It's oh, perfect. Thank you. And your hair looks thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank you so much. How are you? One of my supporters. I haven't forgotten you. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I tell you, I am jealous of anyone who could move to Rwanda. I wish I was moving. And I'm just so happy for you that you're there and that you feel at home. It really shows. And I just want to ask you a little bit about the power outage. I, you know, when I was growing up in Jamaica, I'm going to date myself. I don't care. I, you know, in the 70s, I lived up in the country and we had no electricity. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter because we spent all day outside. So is it like that in Africa where, you know, you spend most of your time outside anyway? So that electricity yeah, I mean, doesn't really affect you that much? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people, the random people, they're, they're out doing some sort of um, work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even if they don't have any sort of like official jobs, they're out maybe in the fields, um, you know, a, a quite a significant number of Rwandans take part in like agriculture, for example. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, it's, it's not really a problem. But obviously, when you come back in the evening, because by six o'clock here, like, it's what, just 
six eighteen, it's pitch black outside. Oh yeah, like Jamaica, where I'm from, where you can't even see anyone. Yeah. On, if you're driving yeah, on the road, you would not see someone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't you can't see anything without light. So yeah, you know, it does become problematic at that point mm -hmm. where you know we have to maybe like a, a lot of people have like solar power or generator. Yeah. This is that for, for this house where I'm renting, they don't have um, a generator. So I have to, <laughs> I normally have to use like a torch or something. But okay. the power out, um, to be honest, in Kigali, I don't, like, I've never really, I've only experienced power outage once in Kigali, mm -hmm. but it seems like in Mosanze, it's at least once a day or once every other day, mm -hmm. um, we'll have the power outage. But it, it comes back fairly quickly. It's like mm -hmm. maybe 15 minutes, um, 20 minutes, half an hour. So it's never really for long, long periods of time. That's um, but, you know, and I, and I believe they're currently also working on the, the power supply. Um, there's new lines and things going up. So that may also be contributing to the current disruptions that we're having. But oh. hopefully there will be some improvements over the coming months. And, That's good. And, yeah. But you should have um, solar panels anyway. So you plan to have that in your, your, your house that you're going to be living in? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, with the Diaspora Building Project, I will, I will definitely have... Um, solar or generator on that project because obviously also solar panel can be obviously they're expensive but in the long run mm -hmm. um, they will save you a lot of money um, yeah. and a lot of people who are building even the modern houses they don't um, they don't have maybe because maybe they don't have the full capital um, to be able to also factor in the solar panels um, but even on my projects that I'm doing I am already incorporating um, solar panels so even yesterday I was out talking to a company that's going to supply, potentially supply us with um, solar panels. So, but that's the way to go. Like at this house where I'm staying, it has um, solar power heaters. So I'm not using nice. the electricity to wow. warm the roof. I love a warm shower. Wow. I love a warm shower. Mm -hmm. And because here in Monsanzi, we're on a higher altitude, what you'll find that is the water is quite cold. And I've tried showering in this cold water, but every time I just jump out of the shower, I'm like, no, 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 I can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we on this property we have a um, solar heater, so solar power, solar, the hot water, right? Very useful. Oh, sorry, you you have solar um, hot water heaters. You're saying? Yes, exactly. Cool. And literally, it's I'm never without hot water. Really, That's never. Nice. Um, cold does it get? It gets cold at night. Yeah, it does get a little bit chilly at night, and also mm -hmm. in the morning as well. So some people who are living here um, actually have like a little fireplace that they burn oh, some wood. Yeah. You know, that's nice. Yeah, it's really really nice. So you know, um, here in the property that I'm renting right now, I don't have a fireplace, but yeah, I would definitely like to have one in the future. But uh, yeah, it, it makes it just makes a lot of difference. It's just it's not it's just a nice thing. Just being just imagine like being on the couch or the sofa, you know, mm -hmm. with my blanket, and then just the fireplace just going, and you know, having maybe you know a juice or you know something. <laughs> That's great. I tell you, I think everybody should really be prepared and feel more secure having solar um, energy anyway, because. Let's face it, it doesn't matter where you live in the world, even in countries like America. I mean, you saw what happened in Texas last winter. A lot of Americans are worried about, you know, electricity going out in the winter time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I live in an apartment in a small city outside of New York City, but I wish I lived in the country where I could have... Uh, a fireplace and my own solar energy so I didn't have to de depend on the grid because the way things are going right now, we really, Americans really can't be confident that they can trust that they will have electricity all the time. And I lived in the in the countryside in uh, New York City, uh, really far up in, you know, I would say it was rural area. And we used to lose our electricity all the time. And it even used to happen when we had huge snowstorms. So it was really nice having uh, a fireplace for, for for some heat, at least, you know? Yeah, so, so you know, 
Definitely, you can have that here in Rwanda. If you're here in Mosanze, you definitely, people, they really enjoy having a fireplace. Mm. Um, again, definitely solar power is the way to go. For my projects, um, I'm also incorporating solar power. Um, also, it, it drives down the cost because um, when I, for example, when I first came to this property and we were relying mainly on electricity for heating the water, you know, we were spending a lot of money. And then um, the solar panel the heater was on the property, but it wasn't working properly. So I said to the, the landlord, oh, he needs to get some people to fix it because the, he had to get some specialists in from Kigali. And uh, when um, the restrictions were lifted, the specialists came in, set up the, the you know, fix the water heater. And that's what we've been relying on for what the last say six months and never really a problem. The, you know, I've always got hot water. And obviously it takes a while to get going, but eventually when it gets going, even the water is so hot, I'm, I'm jumping out of the shower again. Oh, nice, that's good. How about water? Is your water well water or is it um, city water? Um, it is city water. It's not, it's not well water. So obviously like, um, here in Rwanda, you have like the, the main, so we have a company that supplies us called Wasak. They would be the one that like treat like the water and things like that. And then, um, we also, a lot of the houses you'll see, they have tanks here. So we have water tanks. So, um, depending on the purpose that you're using it for, so you either have the setup of, um, rainwater runoff or the, the storage of clean water from the mains. Mm -hmm. So um, when you, with your project, are you gonna be using city water or well water? Um, I'll be using city city water from the company mm -hmm. what, what's back. I'll be using oh, um, okay. their water. Just oh. because I think also boreholes and things are not like a popular thing here in, in, in Rwanda. Oh. Um, and in other countries like the Gambia and things like that, mm -hmm. it's very popular, but it's not it's not so popular here in, um, mm -hmm. in Rwanda. Oh. But, um, I thought your project was being built out in the countryside, further away from development. It's okay, so um, so that's one of the projects. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the diaspora building project because I also oh, have the oh 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 you have different projects. I didn't realize project. that. Yeah, the resort project. Actually, we found um, as a main spring, mm. so we'll be using we'll be using that water and just adding a filter on it. So nice. yeah, it's I guess it's like um, well water, but yeah, it's it's just a natural spring. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. That sounds really yeah. nice. Wow, yeah, I tell you, you're good. really uh, awesome. developing a beautiful life there. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Are you planning to come? To, you, you plan to visit Rwanda or? I would like to visit, but I'm not really sure how that's going to go because now in the U.S. they have a new um, law that says oh, as yes. of November 1st, you yes. have to be vaccinated to come back in. Oh, so did they pass that as a law? I thought that the, you'd have to go under vigorous testing because I know that um, when I read it, it said that you had to anyone coming in any international travelers will have to be vaccinated coming yes. in but for u.s citizens when you return you have to go undergo vigorous testing are they now saying that oh, it's compulsory? Have i vaccinated? didn't realize that well thanks for sharing that with me because i didn't read the whole thing i just saw oh, that it says by november 1st that to come back in the country you have to be vaccinated i didn't realize that citizens can also just be tested. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll have to go check that for out. Now, for now, it's, um, I believe from what I read, okay. um, it's just to, to be tested if you're a US citizen. However, if you're an international traveler into the US, it's compulsory. You will not be let into the country without oh. being oh. vaccinated. So that is oh, for sure. So that's great yeah. news for me because then I really wanted to go to Rwanda and I was planning to go last year and I was planning to go to um, Nairobi too. But if that's wow. the case, then I'll be able to go to Rwanda. I'm so excited about that. That's really good. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So look Thanks into that because yeah. as I'm aware, US mm -hmm. citizen, um, if you leave the country and come back, it's only um, that you have to undergo testing. Nice. Um, but that vaccinated because I know a lot of people are also concerned about that and that's why it's so important to have talks like these because I'm sure maybe others out there who are you know maybe apprehensive about traveling or, or not knowing the correct information now they can maybe go and not just take it from me but also do a little bit more research 
um, and start planning if they want to come and, and, and see the motherland. Nice, wonderful. But I have a feeling that eventually, um, I have a feeling that eventually they may push for, for it to be compulsory vaccines, even as a US citizen. That's what I'm, I'm thinking too. I think that's gonna happen. So I yeah. think it's just like slowly but surely hitting you with the news. Yeah. So be, be prepared. One more thing I want to talk to you about. Did you see that um, the Caribbean, let's just call it CARICOM, CARICOM and the African Union had a meeting where they want to, um, you know, uh, solidify their relationship and make it even closer and that they're proposing a, um, a government uh, subsidized weekly flight to and from Africa to the Caribbean. Have you seen that? No, I haven't, but I will yeah. look into that because yeah. I think um, they they are obviously aware of the diaspora movement and how important it's becoming. Mm -hmm. um, and, and obviously there's been a lot of noise around it and, and it's also very important. So, you know, I'm not like entirely surprised, but mm -hmm. I will look at it and then find out a bit more information. I'll put a link to it in, yeah, right. in this chat, uh, in this um, video, because they did it online. It was on mm. YouTube, so I'll, I'll, yeah. So it's really exciting, I think. Well, I know there's a charter flight uh, leaving from Jamaica to Ghana this month. And I think it was sponsored by the, the business community because they see the opportunity for business opportunities in Africa, especially for a small country like Jamaica, the impact that it would make for them if they were to even develop relationship with just one country like Nigeria. I mean, just think about it. If Jamaica had had uh, had a trading relationship with just Nigeria, it could. Yeah, I think I think um, there's something already on that between Jamaica and uh, flights going from Jamaica to to Lagos, Lagos to Jamaica. Actually, uh, they That's tried right. that. I just watched a program about this uh, charter flight, and they said that that flight was actually canceled at the last minute. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, yeah. So this is a whole what? different situation. At least the government of uh, the government of the, the governments of the Caribbean islands, over twenty islands, are planning to subsidize weekly flights. So they're probably going to be leaving from Jamaica since Jamaica is the biggest island and their mm -hmm. flights from the Caribbean already co uh, coming to Jamaica. So they're pr you're probably, if you're in St. Vincent or Barbados, you probably would connect in Jamaica and it's gonna go straight to Africa. It's not, not, not gonna go through America or Europe. So yeah, so people from the I'm US will be able to fl connect to a flight in Jamaica and go straight to, to Africa. So it's that's really amazing. Nice. That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Like right now, one of the biggest challenges, especially like a, a lot of us who want to travel, you know, we have to go through Europe, we have to go through America. Mm -hmm. And then also it's, it's very expensive, you know, it's very yes. expensive. So, you know, and now it's, now will be a shorter flight. Tonight. Shorter flight. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So, great. so let's pray I'm that it happens. It. Let's face it. I mean, why did it take them so long to figure this out? All they needed was... Can you imagine if the Caribbean was already doing this with Africa? They would have um, been able to exclude all our oppressors. <laughs> I mean, and their economies would have not been de dependent on on tourism, which is being completely being devastated right now with uh, what's going on. It's just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm glad they I think obviously a lot of people are waking up and obviously also a lot of the Caribbean countries also recognizing more the importance of the, you know, the Caribbean Africa relationship and mm -hmm. how like, um, how connected we are. Cause we're not separate, we're, we're, we're like one entity. So people are waking up to that, that reality. And, you know, as you say, like, why did it take so long but in the same respect i feel like okay at least something is happening yeah um you know something is happening so it's, it's also making a contribution towards the bigger goals that we're trying to to move forward towards so yeah mm -hmm. it's, it's a step in the right direction definitely definitely yeah it's great mm -hmm. well i'm so glad we had a chance to talk i really yeah. love what you're doing and I'm so happy with your success so far. And uh, I, I just, uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I just, 
Yeah, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I appreciate it, Sade. I appreciate it very much. And hopefully, I'm going to see you in Rwanda. I hope so. I really love the news you shared with me today. I'm so excited. I'm going to go research it because I, yeah, yes. I think I'm going to make my plans to go sooner than later because I'm yes. about to lose my job because the, the, the you know what is mandatory on my job. Yes. Which is a bit messy because I know um, there was a teacher that um, one of someone was sharing this with me. I think that um, they made it compulsory for for the teachers to be vaccinated, mm -hmm. and I think within two days she was like, "Nope." She left yeah. with her family and now living in Tanzania. Oh, um, nice! Wow. And you want to know what? The family. I'm like, what? Two days. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. she was probably already planned it. Planning yeah, to do that. Like, hell no, I, I've already. I was already going anyway. I'm out even sooner. Yeah, so, she's um, she had her getaway plan, her escape plan, which I don't have one yet. But um, yeah, here's a weird thing. I work 100 percent remote. Ah, uh, <laughs> can you believe that? And they're making it, even though all of us work remote, they're doing that because they they do a lot of business with the government. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's the story. But I learned wow. a lot from you today. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna plan my trip. <laughs> fantastic. And you know, do reach out to me if um, I can help you in any way. I will. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I was gonna say that I think um, a lot of us will be cornered at some point to make a decision. Yeah. And um, it's gonna be very sticky. Very, very yeah. sticky. Yeah, I think it's, it's best to be. Yeah. And I think it's best to be in a place like where you are, where you can grow your own food, or at least you're close to farmers who have to grow food, right? Because they're farmers. <laughs> they, mm -hmm. When you live in a developing country, you know, people have to have to grow food. You know, yes. they're not tied into the way things are here in the U.S. where everything is at the store. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. you're That's what I love. I love being able to grow my own foods here, you know. Um, um, you have a farm, right? Yes, have I have a farm, farm. and um, we've cultivated um, like corn, um, we've cultivated beans. So I use um, the, those red, you know, in Jamaica we call them, um, what do we call them? Uh, red kidney peas. Beans. Uh, yeah, kidney beans. So yeah. I make my rice and peas with those beans. And mm. I, I, I planted so much and harvest so much that no, I ended up giving it. Do you have any <laughs> Um, no, we don't have any gungu, but it can grow here. It definitely can grow here. Uh-huh. You should get some. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're coming, bring some, and then, you know, I'll definitely not not say no to that. All right. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. care. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for coming on, speaking to us, and hopefully see you soon. My pleasure. Nice talking to you. Right. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you so much, Sade, for joining us. And joining the conversation, contributing something positive. I'm glad you were able to um, find out about a bit more information about, you know, traveling from the US and, you know, as I said, do a bit more research. Um, because as far as I know, international travels into the US, um, they have compuls it's compulsory to be vaccinated to enter the US. But for those US citizens, um, when, you, when you return, when you leave America and you return, you um, only have to undergo testing. So. Hopefully that's also provided information for those of you guys who are out there um, and were wondering. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so PT was saying, thought it was just more testing required. Yes, exactly, just testing as far as I know. Um, PT saying, what about permanent residents of the US who are not citizens? Ah, that's interesting. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think the same would apply. I'm thinking the same would apply. You'd have to undergo undergo testings. Guys, if you haven't already done so, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Um, make sure you support with a super chat or become a Patreon member. Again, I want to shout out all my Patreon members. Um, if you want to become a Patreon, all the details are down below in the description box. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to Annette who is our new Patreon um, family member so thank you so much and again you guys can support via PayPal oh I forgot to 
I know, I think I mentioned um, um, that um, PT, um, who is also in the chat right now, um, I was able to gain some information from him um, with regards to cryptocurrency and actually um, purchase a little bit of Bitcoin um, towards the end of September. So I'm now one of the um, cryptocurrency geeks. So if you're choosing to support um, on PayPal, you can actually, I believe, um, um, support using um, Bitcoin or, yeah. So do consider supporting me over on PayPal. Every little helps. As I said, we're working hard here. We're working um, on the diaspora building project. So if that's something you want to support, then please, please um, consider supporting as well. Andy is saying there was a flight from Nigeria to Jamaica a few months ago. Yes, I believe that. As Shade said, that's now been um, canceled or suspended. So we'll be waiting to know what exactly happened with that because I was really excited about that. I was very, very excited. So to learn that it's been suspended, I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> um, um, Ronald is saying that's European. She's talking to, I know for sure. No, um, Sade is not European. She um, says she grew up in Jamaica. So yeah, I do believe that. And I've spoken to her on another occasion. So I know that she's not European. Um, Ronald saying a lot of countries, economies have been destroyed internationally. Okay, PT saying Rande will be doing direct flights to Accra. Yes, I believe they already do direct flights to Accra. And um, that's Rande and then New York. Yes, that's correct. Kenya Airways flies direct from JFK to Nairobi and then quick hops to Kigali. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. And, um, you know, you can support Rande. Fly Rande. Fly the dream with Rande. And um, Ronald is saying, I wouldn't say the vaccine is fine, but I would say we have to, um, we have been consuming food. Okay. I would say we have been consuming food and drugs with same crap that is in that vaccine. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, dual production, we have been double vaccine, no problem for us so far. They say in Canada that 70% ICU are vaccinated, I guess. Um, Sade, I live in the US and I'm from Jamaica. There you go, there you go. Um, she lives in the US, but she's from Jamaica. She's like me. I was born in Jamaica. I was born in Jamaica. So do you guys have any more questions for me? Can I send out the link one more time? Is there anybody who wants to come in and have a chat with me? Um, anything you want to add to the conversation? Again, I have sent out the link. I have sent out the link. You guys have been so nice to me, loving my natural hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> All the nice comments. I really appreciate that. Again, guys, I'll be rounding up shortly. I'll be rounding up very, very shortly. Thank you guys so much for joining the conversation. Excuse me, guys. I just have to sneeze there. Okay, um, Rob C. <laughs> that jab thing is not fine. I'll be going to my sister-in-law's funeral this Saturday. She took the jab. Wow. I don't want to say much about that, right? I'm not going to talk vaccines. I'm not going to talk vaccines. Um, Ronald is asking, do you have a website? Yes, I do. So my website is www.twinlakesisland.com. www.twinlakesisland.com. So that's my business. That's my business website, right? Um, 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 Andy's asking, are you using wireless fiber? Yes, I'm using fiber, wireless fiber optic for my internet access as we speak. Um, guys, I'm not talking vaccines. I'm off the, I'm off the top topic of vaccines because also, you know, there's certain topics that when you talk about them on 
YouTube, you can be demonetized and even they can shut down your channel. I know that's happened to others. So yeah, I have to kind of also be a bit careful. Um, PT saying, Sandra and I are digging the hair. Thank you so much. You know, I took my, my I had my braids out. Um, you know, I had my braids in when you were here, PT and Sandra, Philip and Sandra, if I can say your name. And um, yeah, they got really messy. And so I decided to take them down and just wear my natural hair for a little bit. You know, I like to change up my hairstyle, but I do love, um, I do love my natural hair. Um, and I may actually style it actually in Bantu knots. I love the Bantu knots. Then you'll say, oh my God, this one is a real African queen. <laughs> yeah, so I do love my, um, I do love my natural hair. And actually it's been over 10 years since I've put any chemicals on my hair actually. There's, um, you know, part of my whole journey and learning like, I guess, to love my melanated kin more because you know as I said growing up in the UK you know uh, in Jamaica I didn't recognize that I was black <laughs> but as a child I didn't recognize I was, a, I was black but when I got to the UK I soon realized oh actually I'm black <laughs> but it no it was never a thing that occurred to me prior to being in the UK um, and so a lot of issues came along with that and then you know embracing myself uh, my melanated skin as well as my hair like I had my hair permed and then it um, decided that um, I wasn't going to have chemicals on my hair anymore. Um, also, if you do your research, you can find out years and years of using those chemicals in your skin, in your scalp, they actually get into the bloodstream and actually can cause problems in later life. So became a little bit more health conscious and started making better life choices about the products I use both on my hair as well as my melanated skin. So yeah, guys, um, <laughs> um, Veronica J is in the building. Um, Melanated Royalty is saying peace and blessings, Lady Vision, you know, peace and blessings to you also. Um, Rob C saying, okay. Mm. Melanated royalty saying, love the natural look. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm blushing now. I'm going to blush now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions? Can I send out the link one more time? Have you guys had enough of me? Um, let's send out the link one more time. Let's send out the link one more time. So this is just uh, the last opportunity, I guess, before I end the live. Um, those of you guys who are not following me over on Instagram, my Instagram is lady underscore visionary. I also have a business Instagram, which is Twin Lakes Recreational Island. Again, that's Twin Lakes Recreational Island. So you can go ahead over there and support my Instagram and, you know, also, um, Ronald, you're asking for my website, www.twinlakesisland.com. Um, anybody who actually wants to support my project, um, that's the resort project directly, you can also um, support directly from that website um, by making a donation directly through that website. Um, again, guys, for those of you guys who are new, make sure you subscribe, turn off, turn on your notification bell so you can be alerted whenever I post. Um, please help me reach 6K subscribers because we need to let more people know about Lady Visionary, what I'm doing here, the impact I'm trying to make. Um, so the more people, obviously, we have that subscribe and the more people that like the videos, the more, the more it works with the algorithms to be able to um, disseminate the information of my channel and get sort of more people on board. So that's how another way that you're helping. Also, when you come and you book the meetup tour, that's also helping to contribute to my vision and moving my vision forward. Um, when you... Um, What's it? Yeah, when you when you book your consultation with me, your business or relocation consultation, that also helps as well. Not only you, but also helps me with my vision because obviously it generates capital. 
And um, there was something else I wanted to say, but it's, it just slipped me. Yes, and also, as I said, um, with the, regards to the diaspora building project, that's where I'm building homes for the diaspora. Um, I am looking for investors. Yes, I am looking for investors. I have failed to and like promote this, but now I must remember, I am looking for investors. So if you are interested in becoming an investor on the diaspora building project, then all you have to do is contact me via email, projecthealtha at gmail.com projecthealtha at gmail.com. Send me an email. And again, if you are interested in relocating and doing business in Rwanda, you can send me an email. All the details are down below in the description bar. And again, I do provide business support for anybody who's really serious about doing business here. Then I am the person on the ground that I can support you along the way um, to launching your business. Okay. Um, right, who we got here? What's been said? Um, Veronica J is saying, um, I wouldn't mind moving to Africa, but being a single mom would be a scary situation with no support. I understand, but you, you know, it's possible. Um, we have single mothers um, also moving um, to the continent, but it's something that you definitely have to plan for. You definitely have to, to think whether it's the right time for you, but definitely there has to be a plan in place because people are coming without a plan um, and finding that, yes, they, they've not been well prepared and having to return back to the West and the Americas. And that's not something they want to do, but they've been kind of faced with no other options. OK, so I always, always give you guys that information, I always promote to plan, making sure that you have enough capital and then we're thinking also about when you're here, what would be your business strategy and you know what would be your business strategy in terms of sustaining yourself if you don't have the capital um, already there so that's something to really think about <laughs> um <laughs> med j says um black folks don't blush we shine okay I'm shining. I'm shining with all of this natural beauty. I'm shining. I hope. Uh, did I say that well now? <laughs> um, okay. Um, Bordermeyer says he don't know that he was a black man till he went to China. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember him saying that. But yeah, I didn't realize that I was a black child until I moved to the UK. That's true. I did not realize, realize I was a black child until I moved to the UK during my childhood years. So the reality hit me when I was faced with certain situations and finding that maybe I'm treated a little bit differently to my white counterparts. Um, yeah, I realized, oh, she's white and I'm black. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Yeah, Rob C is saying that, yes, that's the key, have a plan. I never tell people to just up and go without a plan, you know. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So I always say plan, plan, plan. You know, at least have something in place, a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Because you never know, you know, you're coming to a country that you don't know the language, you don't know the culture, you're studying the business arena, you're studying the people, you know, you may have some failures here and there. So what would be the next plan? Like, what would be the backup? You know, so I always say plan. Yes, Rob C, cover the basics. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So that you don't find yourself having to run back to America or to Europe. For me, I may like if I have like something that happens in the UK, um, because I still have my dad that lives there and my my sister, my um my my family members. So if there's something ha that's happened, yeah, I'd have to go. But like I cannot see myself living there. You know, I cannot see myself living there. And I would not want a situation where I would have to move back there. I would be depressed, guys. 
I'd be literally depressed. Like, you don't understand. Like, as I said before, there, there's no greater feeling than walking in your purpose. And so when you're in a place where it doesn't stimulate your purpose, you have no drive energy to be in that space, it is very depressing. And so being here and walking in my purpose, I just feel like I'm flying. I really do feel like I'm unstoppable, you know, and it's a great feeling. It's it's a phenomenal feeling. So that's why I would not want to be back in the West because I'm here walking in purpose and loving it. Okay. Right, 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 right. I'm having, wait. Yes, Jewel, Jewel Production is saying um, must plan for income. Yes. Because at the end of the day, we need money to survive. Yes. Um, you know, when you're here, you can get land and things like that to grow your own crops. But still, you're going to need something. So you have to think about ways in which you're going to sustain yourself here. Because if the sustainability factor has not been considered, whoo, you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble. Um, okay, bling bling. Med J is on a high today. Um, a nurse in the kitchen. Hello, welcome back. Um, hi, lady. I will arrive in Ghana next week, Ken, for a two week stay. I will be stopping in Rwanda on my way back to the US for three days. How can I best get a feel of Rwanda? What do you recommend? Mm, interesting. Three days is a short time. Three, four days is a short time. But I guess it's a short time. You can, um, it's possible to, you know, um, be in Kigali for two days, come and see me here in Musanze and then travel back. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Depends on how much energy you have and, you know, how your, your, how your journey is in, in, um, Ghana and whether you have enough energy to also explore a little bit here in um in Rwanda but what like you did the whole you're doing the whole two weeks in Ghana like why didn't you do a week with us here in Rwanda <laughs> but um yes uh you have to think about that but yeah you could perhaps be in Kigali for two days and then come and explore here for a day and then go back uh, but it's a very short time very very short time yeah and also I don't want to forget also for those of you guys who are um wanting to you know wanting a place to stay in Musanze I am running like an Airbnb um so if that's something that you're interested in, get in again to support my vision and the projects that I'm doing here then you can, whenever you're in Musanze, you can book my Airbnb, okay? Whenever you're in Musanze, you can book my Airbnb, and we have a great team, so, and PT will actually testify, PT is in the chat right now, I wish you would come in and testify as to how amazing, like, my staff is, the level of hospitality that we give, you know, we try our best, nothing is perfect, but, you know, we, we, we give a good service. <laughs> Jewel production is saying, hope for the best, plan for the worst. So um, that's an interesting point because I think with everything, you have to consider the pros and the cons and the potential mishaps and, you know, the potential hurdles. Because even here, um, even though I've been in Rwanda for quite a while, there are hurdles that I have to jump every now and then. Um, or setbacks but I just have to I just keep moving because there is a plan in place there's a vision in place and um, I definitely have that spirit of endurance and you know that that faith that I will get to the end goal so that keeps me um, driven but you definitely have to have passion and drive for what you're doing when you come here. Sade um right 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 it's okay Tisindo is saying i want to visit the ellen genevieve Gen 
gen the Genes campus in Musanze. It is is it open yet? It's not open yet, but they have there's been a lot of progress with that, but it's not open as yet, as far as I know. Yeah, it's not open yet, as far as I know. It's not open yet, as far as I know. Okay, guys. Yes, Rob, yes, guard and plan. Yes, you definitely have to operate with a level of consciousness. Um, yes, and you'll be fine as long as you have a plan as to what you're doing, some direction as to what you're doing, then you're going to be absolutely fine, to be honest, absolutely fine. Okay, guys, well, I think that is enough from me. I'm going to say I'm going to love you all and leave you guys all now because it's coming up to like two hours since I've been on here and my jaw has been like going, going, going. <laughs> um, so I am going to say thank you all very, very much for tuning in. Um, as I always say, you could be somewhere else, but you just decided to be with me and I don't take that lightly. So thank you all so so much for all the love and support again if you haven't already done so if you haven't already done so please go ahead and smash the like button i'm going to give you a second i'm going to give you a second have you have you smashed the like button there's 23 of you guys in here can you press one if you've smashed the like button like i needed to do it so quickly so quickly so quickly let me know if you have smashed the like button let me know okay What's going on? Okay, we're going to wait. Let me know if you have smashed the like button. Press one if you have smashed the like button. Oh, my goodness. Okay, dual production has smashed the like button. Just dual production. We have 24 of you guys. <laughs> right. <sighs> what am I going to do now? But anyway, okay, the <clears throat> Cavs has Cavs, Paul also. Oh, Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sade has, Med J has, thank you. Ronald has, um, who else has? Rob C has. Wow, okay. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> eight people have smashed the like button, but there's 23 of you guys in here. Oh, Rob is saying, one of the first thing I do is smash the like button. Okay. And those of you guys who are here and you're not subscribed, okay, I want you to type zero. Um, Ronald is saying, hope you feel better. I'll be in contact with you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yes, I'll get some more rest, um, drink some more water, have some more ginger tea. Um, and then. Um, yeah, just have some more rest and hopefully by tomorrow, I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be okay. I, I just think I've just been overdoing it, guys. If you see what I get up to behind the scenes, you'll be like, Lady Visionary, you are crazy. But people say it to me, oh my God, you, you're so strong. Like you do a lot. And that's because I'm working hard for what I want. And yeah, also some of you guys, I have some assignments that I'm doing for some of you guys who are planning to come to Rwanda. So that keeps me quite busy, quite active. Um, but yeah, I need to, I need to get some rest. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, product, um, dual production is giving me the figures and saying my computer says 53 thumbs up. Okay, all right, okay. Because obviously I can't see that. Um, maybe after the live, I'll be able to see that. But yeah, I can't see that. But I've been on here two hours, guys. I was like, I want to come and say hello to my subscribers, my supporters. I was literally on my bed, like the whole, like from the morning when I woke up, like maybe around six. And I was like, oh my God, I feel terrible. And um, just said, right, I'm going to take some paracetamols and just rest. And then around three, I was like, oh, I want to be on, on live with my subscribers. And it has, I feel like it has helped me. Definitely. This is part of the medication that I needed. So thank you guys for showing up. It means a lot. It means a lot. <laughs> I 
Med J. <laughs> Med J saying, should I unlike that and like it again? <laughs> if you if you've liked already, don't worry about unliking to like it again. <laughs> Med J, you're just too much. Med J has been one of like my supporters for the longest time. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Um, Sade gave some remedies for my cold. Thank you. Right. All oh, right. Antihistamine plus vitamin C four times a day. It will get you better. Drink only lemon water. Wow. I don't have any lemon, so maybe I'll get some tomorrow. And then I have ginger, so... I'll drink a ginger tea this evening. Well, when I finish this live, I'm going to drink a ginger tea. Um, right, right, right. Okay. Yep, uh, Medjay is confirming 53 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's so sweet. <laughs> Jewel Productions, and I'm even though I'm sick, I'm looking great. Oh, thank you so much. Literally, like, I'm the type of person, literally, like, even when I'm sick, I don't like being sick. When I'm sick, I would just like keep going, keep working. Even, you know, there were some things that I was doing, um, you know, whilst I was just laying down, I had emails that I had to, I, I was, I had some work that I had to complete today. So even like, though I was not feeling well, I was laying on my bed, I was like just on my phone replying and trying to get some assignments done. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I do push myself to the limit. Sometimes I just, I'm just like, Ariane, you need to stop. You need to stop Lady Visionary. Sometimes I have to talk to myself. Um, is it? at Tronsa is saying, you need to look after yourself to do what you're doing. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm definitely gonna take some time out because I think I really need it. Seriously, I need to recoup, regenerate. Otherwise, whew, Lady Visionary will not be able to do what she does. So I really need to take some time out, guys. I'm, think, I'm thinking to take a week off. Seriously, seriously to take, thinking to take like a week off. So I need to just diary it and just make it happen. Just a week, just concentrating on me, me, me. Because, yeah, I may just be overdoing it. And I'm going to be no good to myself and anyone else if I'm just like walking on one leg because I'm exhausted. Um, Paul... Grace is saying, do you currently live in Rwanda? Because you seem to me to have a British accent. Okay, so I relocated from the UK to Rwanda. I spent too many years in the UK, hence why I have a British accent. But if we want to talk patwa, we can talk patwa because we was born in a Jamaica. And that's what we did born. So I can also speak um, a little bit of patwa, even though my family back home, they will laugh at me when I'm speaking, trying to speak patwa because they're like, no, I'm, I've, I've just grown, like I've been in the, U, um, the UK far too long. And um, I'm learning Kenya Rwanda, so really we Amakuru, Yego. <laughs> anyway, I just said, good evening. How are you? And yeah, Morakoze for watching my channel. So my Kinyarwanda is very, not so good, but I'm learning, okay? So eventually when I know more Kinyarwanda, maybe I'll use English less. But for now, yeah, it's English for me. Uh, I have a British accent because I spent most of my years in the UK. Okay. Um, um, a lot of my in-laws are, are here in um, Rwanda, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Meg J saying, over here in Switzerland, I know many women, they are, aren't sick, but they look sick. Oh, God. Francis, just, just to get more feel of Mosanze, you can next stream. Okay, can your next stream be in a Mosanze cafe setting? Okay, so I will do more content on, like, there's some new establishments that have come up. So I think I will um, be creating content around, like, new businesses that have come up here in Musanze. So do look out for that. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But right now, because I'm doing so much, guys, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm managing a lot of things right now, and so trying to also create content, edit, because I create the content, I edit, I upload, you know, I do all of that myself at the moment. So that's probably why I'm not able to be as consistent as I would like to be. Um, but eventually, because I'm also training up some people to be able to film, um, at least film for me, um, and do a little bit of editing for me. So yeah, so that like the load can be off me a little bit more, but yeah, I will create more content on Musanze. It's coming. It's coming. And a lot of you have asked for content around real estate properties. So, again, I'm working on that. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Ronald is asking, are you married? You have sisters? Okay, so, like, my sister's married. Um, I'm married. I have two babies. And I'm not looking for another husband. I'm quite happy with the one that I have. <laughs> I'm happy with the one that I have. So, yeah, that's, that hopefully that answers your question. Yes, I'm married. And I have two babies, three-year-old and a two-year-old. My husband was not playing. Anyway, a bit too much information. Um, well, get well, get well, Lady V. I'm off to football. Thank you so much. Have a good time at football. Um, Shade Jody saying, please teach us some Kinyaranda every video. That would be so great. Um, so the word of today, I guess, because it's evening here in Rwanda, and Good evening is Mwiliwe. Mwiliwe. So wherever you are right now, I know I can't hear you, but let's pretend I can. Can you say Mwiliwe? Okay, that didn't sound too bad. Again, try again. Mwiliwe. Okay, try that. Mwiliwe. Okay, I'm sure you've got it by now. So Mwiliwe in Kenya Rwanda means good evening. Okay. Mwiliwe. Right. Um, Med J. Right. I'm reading your last few comments and I'm going because this is this is this live is getting a bit long, guys. And um, Kerian definitely has a Jamaican English accent because if she had a UK accent, I wouldn't be subscribed to her channel. <laughs> oh wow. Um Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm see. This is this is. You guys are talking about cryptocurrency. <laughs> at um, at Ron says, saying you are from Jamaica. Oh gosh, yes. Me a Jamaican. I did some did ban, but me a African too. I hope you understood what I said. I said yes. I was born in Jamaica, but I'm also yeah. I am a African born in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> Med J saying that ain't your business, dude. I think that's in relation to what am I married with chill with I guess sisters. But yeah, people people do want to know. So I have to also make it clear, you know, um, so that I don't get any get any invites. <laughs> um yeah, too many years in the UK, so I'm happy now to be. Um, I'm happy now to be in in Africa, in Rwanda. Um, PTG owns Sol and Ada. 
Okay, I think you're talking about crypto. I must have missed that then. I must have missed that. Um, I did purchase some ADA yesterday. ADA, yeah, is it ADA? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who is asking? Was it Ronald? Wait, wait, wait. Was it Ronald? Yes, Ronald. So, um, Ronald, if you're still here, dual production is saying, my wife has eight sisters in Tanzania, if you're looking. So if you're looking for a wife, dual production's wife has eight sisters. So there you go. <laughs> Jewel is saying, I'm looking. Oh, yeah, dual, dual production is another word for the, those of you guys who are leaving. Ora bejo, ora bejo, which means goodbye in Kinyaranda. So if you come to visit me and you're leaving, you would say ora bejo. Ora bejo means goodbye. And uraho means hello. Uraho means hello. Ora bejo is bye-bye. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are, are just making me laugh, seriously. What? Orabejo. Of course, my Kinyaranda, people will tell you, Randy's will tell you, Medje, that when I speak, the little Kinyaranda what I, that I know, when I speak Kinyaranda, like my Kinyaranda is good. I don't know if because maybe I have a, a slight cold, but my pronunciations with regards to Kinyaranda, the Rwandan people have given me a tick, okay, Medjay, for your information. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, Sade Jones is saying uh, you can add cucumber, uh, mint, or any other fruit to your water if you don't have lemon or lime. Yes, I have, funny enough, I have um, cucumber actually. At Ronsai saying, seeing Africa born in Awi. <laughs> That's a Jamaica. The, oh my goodness. So, oh wow. Ronald is actually serious about getting hooked. Okay. Wow. Mwiliwe. Yes, good evening. Anyway, guys, I'm going to say Orabejo. Who knows what Orabejo? Can you type what Orabejo means in Kinyarwanda? If I'm talking to those people who don't no, Kinyaranda. <clears throat> I'm talking to those Orabejo. I we said it. This is a lesson. You want to learn how to speak some Kinyaranda. Orabejo means who can type it? Orabejo means mm, anyway. Guys, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Orabejo. Yes, orabejo means bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, Sade, Joan, she got it. Yes. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I definitely am leaving now. It's been a wonderful conversation. I've enjoyed interacting with you guys. You guys have made me laugh. And you guys have given me really nice advice and compliments. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sade, for all the remedies that you spilled in the comment section. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We'll be taking those on board. Again, for those of you guys who are thinking about relocating and doing business in Rwanda, please, please, please do reach out to me via a consultation. All the details will be down below in the description bar. Um, reach out to me on projecthealtha at gmail.com and we can set up your consultation. Again, those of you guys who are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to achieving 6K subscribers. We're almost there. Um, you can share out one of my favorite videos on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your uh, Twitter account. Help grow the visionary family. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support. Again, um, whenever I'm live, you guys can support via Super Chat as well as supporting my projects um, um, via PayPal, or I'm also on, um, what is it? I'm also on Patreon. So you can get, um, become a Patreon member. Thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, I'll see you again in the next one.
by. And thank you for all your lovely compliments on my hair and my natural beauty. <laughs> thank you, guys. Bye.